Hey everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft. It's been a minute, and by minute I mean like six or seven weeks. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, I had a pretty bad case of the flu, and it really affected my throat, so I wasn't able to talk for like maybe an hour at a time and then i started coughing and well streaming just wasn't an option sadly so it took a while to get back but i'm almost completely fine now i still have a little bit of um a sore throat but i can manage so we're finally back and we're at the skeleton farm i think we ended there the last time we played although i'm not sure um i did spend some afk time here like before christmas so we've got a chest full of bows and an inventory full of arrows and bones so the afk farm is working but it's not optimized by a long shot um while I was spending time here, I noticed that, well, this is the maximum amount of skeletons I can get at a time. So like five or six, I think. Um, and when you hit them, they bounce back quite a bit. So it's quite annoying to kill them. So I want to make some changes to this to see if we can optimize it a bit. Um, but yeah, I first have to empty my inventory because it's completely filled with loot uh, so let's actually place a torch in here to stop them from spawning more and then we'll kill these guys place another torch like right on top of the spawner and then we'll empty our inventory at the base get some supplies and we'll see what we can do about this well, AFK mob farm, I guess. Um, get another torch over here. Okay. I want to basically try... I want to change the water flow and see if we can direct them all into a channel and get them to drop down a couple of levels. I hope we can get further out of range of the spawner because I think the spawner is limited and that's why we don't get more skeletons. I want to see if we can make them drop down a bit um, to get them out of range and then have them end up in like one square. So when you hit them, they can't move anywhere. So it's easier to kill them. So yeah, that's the plan. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. Um, let's bring all of this back to the base. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all the bows because most of them are on the way out and they only have like a few points of durability left. Um, two of them are enchanted, so I might see if we can repair those. We have some more powerful weapons. But all the other ones, I, I'm not sure if we can use them to repair the enchanted ones, because that would be useful. And otherwise, I think I'm just going to throw them on the ground and let them despawn or look for some lava or something and make them fall in there. Almost at the top. I'm happy we built this road because I'm not sure if I would have remembered where to go after all this time. <laughs> I think I would have... Oh god, Enderman. Yeah, it might take some time for me to get 
um, settled into the game again after not playing for so long. But it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's not like it's an entirely new game. Leave me alone. Okay, let's see. We changed this. Yeah, the sort of fence connects to the wall. So we have to go all the way around. That's fine. Uh, wait, actually. Can we get in like this? Aha! Cheated my own system. Um, let's see. Mm, equipment. Is there a way to... Mm. To empty out all at once? Like most games have control click to just place in the entire... Everything of the same type, but... I guess Minecraft doesn't do that. And let's eat something. And... Do we need more stone? Probably not, because we'll be mining. But let's take some anyways. And I want some more... Glass. We can make it a window to see the skeletons, <laughs> because I think that's quite nice. And torches... I don't think I have any torches. No, okay. And then we'll grab some coal. Wait, is it just... Stick coal? Yes. And uh, let's return the sticks. Okay, let's see what we can do. Hey, tops. Ouch. I'm gonna try to... Upgrade the skeleton farm. Or upgrade, yeah. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but optimize. <laughs> Make it better. Because I spent some time AFK or sort of AFK because you have to kill them manually, so it's not entirely AFK, but... Um, and it took a really long time because it wouldn't spawn more than six skeletons at a time, no matter how long I waited. Um, and every time I would hit a skeleton, it would like bounce back a couple of blocks. Um, and then you'd have to wait for the skeleton to walk back to you before you could hit it again. So, yeah. It was a bit tedious, I guess the right word is. I did manage to get half an inventory of arrows and half an inventory of bones. So that's not bad, but it did take me like six or seven hours. Um, so I'm gonna try to to optimize it. I will show you what my idea is when I get there. Uh, this door? No, next door. This one. Oh, oh crap. Oh, I forgot the bucket. Uh, yeah, we'll all go back later. Um, so my plan is I want them to fall in the water and then get carried along by the water this way. 
but then fold down like I don't know, three or four blocks or something to a new water stream that takes them this way. And then they will land in like a single square. So they get bunched up and it's easy to kill them because they can't bounce back. So our killing area will have to be lowered by a bunch of blocks as well. Um, but yeah, that's the general plan. But yeah, I forgot to bring my bucket, so I can't change the water flow, which is a shame. Um, I think I'll just make the water stop for now. So uh, uh, my logic is that because they are all standing over here, the spawner thinks it's at capacity and doesn't spawn more. So by having them fall down a bunch of blocks, I'm hoping they'll get out of range from the spawner and it will just keep chucking out skeletons. Yeah, it makes sense in my head. I also don't know what the range is, and I don't even know if there is a range, but we'll see how it goes. Wait, so another material? Um... And I'm also hoping that the full won't like instantly kill them and ruin the entire point of this, but we'll see how it goes. All this 21 blocks to kill mobs. Okay, so that, that's a long way. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes. So this is four blocks. And it's the, the cage is two blocks above the ground. So this is six blocks away from the cage. Six or seven blocks. Let's just, if it's 21 blocks to kill them, let's just play it safe and go down a couple more levels. Might as well. And that's also why I've taken the glass so we can sort of monitor how the spawner is doing. Uh, let's see. And then we want the we want to stand over here and the skeletons to be over here, so this one should be one lower. <laughs> Peeping glass, yeah. So I'm hoping they will fall in here, then get taken along by the water over here, then drop into this spot, and then we can just hit them a bunch of times and they should die. Hopefully. Um, and I hope that works out with the range of the water. 
because if we want to be able to hit them, this will have to be lowered as well. And then we can crouch over here and just whack, whack, whack. Okay, so that's the plan. Now we need to have an actual place to stand over here. I can't see anything. Um, Oh. Let's see how big do we want to make this? I also need to create some way to actually get down here. Okay, so this is a nice spot to stand to kill them and then we need a way up and down and we need a place to store whatever we get oh some chests mm. and i want it to be symmetric because why not And let's go back one more, just because it looks nicer, I think. Okay, so now we have room to stand here and kill them. We can put some chests on either side for, I don't know, extra swords and the loot and whatever. And then we need a way to get up there. which I didn't really think through. Um, we could maybe do a staircase. Like the one we have to go in and out of the mine, like, uh, what's the word? Spiral staircase. Um, because that takes up less room. <laughs> now then we go up one. So basically these four blocks have to be removed all the way up to where we want to go. Getting dizzy staircase, exactly. The best ones. Uh, also pretty annoying staircase to be honest because you have to jump every block But it works, I guess. Oh, wait, it doesn't work. It do oh, no. <laughs> I screwed up. <laughs> wait, why doesn't that work? It should work. Right? To do something silly. Oh, I placed one here, but we can't do that because you'll have to go up one and then up one again. 
and then up one again. But that doesn't work. Maybe we should design it from the top to the bottom. Or I can just move the door. <laughs> Is it dead end? Yeah, okay. Let's just remove this because it's kind of pointless. I built this to be safer from mobs that might spawn behind this, but it's a dead end, so that shouldn't be happening. And we can remove these as well because there's not really a use for crouching anymore. Um, and I'm gonna place in some blocks over here because this is dangerous. Um, wait, not this one. Wait, something is off about my logic because if they spawn here and flow over here, that might work. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, okay. So let's make this a bit bigger. Just because it looks better. And then we can move the door over. And let's just put the door right here. And... Uh, Wait, no, that doesn't work. Well, it will work, but it, it looks silly. It's clearly been too long. I'm, I'm, my logic is not here. Okay. Let's just do it like this. Okay, so that's closed off, that's fine. That's a dead end, so that's fine. Then we can monitor the spawner from here. And then when we go down here, we can kill the skeletons that drop down. Or at least that's the plan. So they drop down here, they land here, we kill them here, yeah, okay. Um, let's get some more glass. Let's wait. If we don't want them to be able to hit us, there will have to be a block here, but then they can't fall here. No oh, crap, I shouldn't do this with glass. Um... So we can't stand here. Because if they come flowing in from here, they will need all this space before they can fall in here. So the block can only be up there. Does this work? If we stand over here, can we hit them over there? It should work, right? But it feels wrong. Wait, how did I do it up here? Let's also put in some torches over here.
Yeah, no, here I was also just hitting them one block away. But I was crouching. So this should be fine, this should work. If they stand over there, I should be able to hit them from here and just kill them. So we can make this out of glass. Um, so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so that should be fine. They land over here, we kill them, we get their loot. Yeah. I think I think that's everything we need. I might actually put some glass all around so we can see from all sides. I might even make these ones glass to be honest, so we can have a good look at the skeletons while they're falling in our little killing place. Um, but first I'm gonna get a bucket and some chests so we can actually put in the water and see whether or not this works. Um, and let's take these bows. Oh, the enchanted ones and let's take a couple of other ones so we can maybe repair them and then this chest can just go and all the bows can despawn because they're all crap and I don't care and, and I can't be bothered to bring them all back to the base maybe a slab instead of a block yeah I tried that in our first skeleton farm, but then the skeletons were able to shoot me underneath it because they were able to see me and target me. So I was getting hit all the time. We might be able to work something out where we don't have to crouch. Maybe if we, if we put ourselves lower then the skeletons, and then put up a block with a slab, so we are at eye level with like their feet. Maybe we can hit them to a, through a small gap. Because the crouching was kind of annoying. I mean, I fixed it by putting blocks above my head, so I couldn't stand up, but still. It would be better if we could just stand upright. Uh, the fuck happened to my house? Is that gonna load in or the hell? The fuck? Where's my roof? What? <laughs> roof went boom <laughs> where did my roof go and my walls
What the hell? Wait, was it like this? When I walked here at the beginning of the stream? I'm I'm gonna have to look back. I, I don't I can't remember, but I'm pretty in the beginning of the stream I, I walked towards the house. I can't imagine I didn't see this because it's pretty pretty obvious that something weird happened, but fire but where where would the fire have started I mean if I'm not here this shouldn't be loaded right there there shouldn't be anything happening here you guys start a fire I mean it it's too big to have been a creeper, right? That a creeper somehow spawned on the roof and then went boom. I mean, that would have been like three or four creepers. Yeah, I have a couple of lightning rods, yeah, and... It's never been a problem so far. Even when I had only one lightning rod, my roof never lit on fire so um can i repair this bow by putting in another bow yeah okay but the crappy bows aren't entirely oh wait what if i combine yeah uh, okay Maybe I would get power three or something, but no. Okay. Okay. Um. Bucket. What else was I gonna bring? I'm. I'm. I'm thrown off now. <laughs> um, chests. Six chests should be plenty. And we'll just drop the other bows somewhere on the ground because I don't care for them. Um, and we have everything else. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but I guess I'll have to start work on a new roof. <laughs> How on earth did that happen? I mean, this is a creeper hole. That's that's way bigger. I don't get it. Yeah, it's way too big for a creeper. Creeper that brought friends or something. Yeah, let's get rid of these bows. I okay. We'll just do it one by one. Reaper invasion targeted on your roof. <laughs> yeah, and it happened while we were in the mine and they all went boom because no one was there and I don't know, it's just weird. Maybe the mine is just just in range for the house to remain loaded all the time or something? I don't know. <laughs> they were waiting around the corner. <laughs> as soon as I walked out of the house, boom. Now, we'll probably never figure it out. Doesn't really matter anyway. Yeah, 
know, if you get back after working on the farm and suddenly the roof is back, then then it's really weird. Then it's magic. I messed up again. I brought buckets, but I didn't bring water. There should be water. Ooh. Water somewhere down here. Creepers felt guilty, so they built a roof again. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh, wait, what? What? That wasn't a source block? The hell? Okay, all kinds of weird shit are happening now. Minecraft is broken. Um, where can I find water? Okay, this this got to be a source block, right? Oh, it was a source block. Okay, never mind. My hot bar was just full, so I didn't see the bucket appear full of water. Never mind. Not Minecraft that's being weird, it's me. Which isn't that weird, honestly. That's just normal. Um, okay, let's see if we can do this with two buckets of water. Yeah, let's just fill them all up. Just in case. Okay, so they should be pushed over there and fall down. Oh, maybe this is too much water. Hmm. Can skeletons drown? I mean, they're already dead. You would expect they can die more, but... Let's just put in some blocks just to test... Uh, if this ID works. Because they're gonna end up here. No, it doesn't work. It's too much water. <laughs> Um, what if we put in a slab underneath this block? I can't see it. Ah, okay. So now the skeletons should fall in here. And we can kill them from here. That should work. I think. Let's put in some more stones just so they can't accidentally escape. Um, I 
Do I need to close that? Let's close it just in case. I don't know if they will be able to walk out of the water flow, but let's not risk it. Okay, let's let's put this to the test before we start building it out of glass because I don't want to waste all my glass blocks. Um, but we might have to move over one block so that they get pushed in, but there's not that entire waterfall going down. But we'll see how it goes. Let's get this torch. Remove this block. Place in these blocks because I don't trust it. And let's remove this torch. Okay, so they start spawning, that's good. They do fall down. Ah, but they stay in place. They're not moving, they just get pushed to the bottom. Yeah, okay, so this doesn't work like I wanted to. Okay. Um, bye. And this one over here. Yeah, this doesn't work. <laughs> okay, this works. Okay, so we'll have to move over one block. So I'm glad I didn't build it out of glass yet, because that would have been annoying. No, oh, this is also annoying. Okay, how does this look when we remove this block? Yeah, they get pushed in here, but the water doesn't flow. Or does it? Wait. Wait, this is weird. It does in some blocks, but not in others? Wait, what? The physics of this game keep surprising me. Let's just reset the water. <laughs> Reapers felt guilty, so they built a roof again. Okay, what happens if we replace the water like this? Does it create a waterfall or does it just barely flow into this? canyon thing and buckets of water so it still creates a waterfall so we have to move over even further oh my god um, not what I was expecting. This looks promising. Let's just expand this in its entirety. Maybe they'll have more room to spawn like this. And X 
expand our viewing area. Okay, so if I remove this, this should work. Or at least it seems like it should work. Um, actually, let's do a test drive like this just to see where the skeletons end up. Uh, oh crap, I forgot that one. Okay, so they do end up there. That's exactly what I want. Okay. Yeah, you two kill each other. <laughs> How are you missing each other at point blank range? Oh my god. That's just skeleton skills. Um, let's go downstairs to kill the skeletons over there. And then we can expand this down and rearrange everything. <laughs> um, okay, but this works. So that's good to know. But my logic is okay. It's just the execution that was horrible. Um, am I going to fill this again? Probably better to fill this. in case I decide to change something later and start dicking and suddenly fall into a giant hole that I dug weeks before myself. Because that would be a dumb way to die. And probably also quite funny, but still, let's not do that. Okay, so we need to move over two blocks, so we'll end up here. So I'm glad I made this room nice and symmetric, because I can do it all over again now. Which, honestly, I'm not gonna do, because I'm too lazy for that. Um, but I will create some extra room so we can actually stand here while we kill the skeletons. And if it does actually work like it should, then we can always make it pretty later. Um, okay, so we'll be standing over here. And I had a slab down there to get to the right height. Uh, so skeletons will be over in the middle. So the skeletons will be standing over here, so we can make this out of glass. So we can see the skeletons. And then we'll have some more glass on this block and on this block. And, oh wait, we'll need a slab, but I don't have a glass slab. So we'll have, can we make a glass slab? Wait, glass? No, not 
here anyway, so we'll have to see if we can do that in the base, and otherwise it's gonna have to be stone, I guess. And now I, I did something stupid because I built this out of glass, but we need to get in there to actually... Oh wait, we can we can go underneath. I just have to remember to make that the right height later. Okay, so then we have to go up from this block, I think. Maybe the other one. Can we go that high? Yes, we can. Is the rice place, or do I have to go one further? Um, let's see, one further, okay. And then we'll have to go up until this one. I'm not gonna jump down there. Let's not do risky things like that um so this one can go as well okay cool Wait, am I doing this one too low now? Because the skeletons will drop in here. I'll be standing here. Yeah, I'm making this entire thing one block too low. Okay, whoops. I see diamonds. Diamonds. Yes. Give me diamonds. Are there more? Ah, they were hidden. More? No. Okay. How many did we get? Four. Eh. Okay, I guess. Um, Okay, so this has to go up by one block. And then we'll have to add in some water here that actually carries them over there. Okay. And a block over here, they will fall down in here. Right, why did the water stop flowing? Oh, I'm at the edge of its range, okay. That's perfect. Uh, skeletons will drop in here. They will stand on that block. I will be standing over here, smacking them. And we'll just need half or a slab to put on here. Or maybe we don't even need that. Maybe we can just hit them from here. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to shoot us like this, so... 
this should actually be fine. Okay, cool. Uh, let's put an extra torch in here, just because. And let's see if it works, I guess. Um, is there a torch on there? You can flow down, that's fine. I will pick you up when I get down below. And I'm not going to put glass in here because I move through there a lot. Whee! Okay, so how many will you spawn? Will you keep spawning now? Might have to remove this torch actually. Make it a bit darker for the skeletons. Oh, there's two more. Down you go. Um, oh no. Ah, okay, thank you. I hope they aren't doing that down there. Let's see how it's going. Oh no, they are dropping. Oh, wait. Are they in the way of each other? Hmm. Oh, this, this works. They're just lining up for me. But not all the drops are... Oh, okay, I can pick them up from here. Hmm. Wait, why are there no new skeletons coming? Am I just impatient? Oh, I am impatient, okay. Okay, I'm curious how many it will spawn. <laughs> it's trying to get back up, back up there. Okay, let's let's actually put in some chests. This work? No. Why can't I open that? Bit lame. And let's put bones in this one, or arrows in this one, bones in this one, and bows in this one. Leather pants. Wow. I might actually get some lava and like put in one block of lava over here so I can throw in crappy stuff. <laughs> oh, it is working better than I expected. Ooh, no. I was just thinking maybe we can kill them with lava, but then we'll destroy all the loot as well, so that's not a good idea. Ah, it's not limited to six anymore. Awesome. Okay, 
here. So it looks like it worked like I expected it would. So that's nice. I might add in some more. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how, actually. I was going to say just a little extra water so the loot flows out. But if I add water here, then... Hmm. Then the skeletons will be able to see me because I'll have to remove this block. And if I remove that block, then I can't hit them as efficiently. So no, it's going to have to be like this for now. Well, we'll see how it goes. And if it's if it becomes annoying, I can always change it later or experiment with it later. Okay, um, but the reason I built this at one point was so we could get a higher level, so we could get some fancy enchantments going on our weapons. Um, and we are higher than 30 now, so let's kill this bunch of skeletons and then... We'll head to the base and have a look at the enchantment table, see if we can get something nice for our sword. And I will actually make a new sword. Um, to enchant, because this one is already on the way out. And then we can see if we can get something cool. Up, 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 up. And then we'll make a new diamond sword and see if we can enchant it with some, what's it called? Level three enchantment, I think. That the highest enchantment. <laughs> And let's hope we can get something good because as far as I noticed it's kind of random uh, which enchantments you get every time you open the enchantment table, so... We'll see how it goes. And then I might spend some off stream time at the skeleton farm to get some more levels going. Nope, roof is still gone. Oh. Would have been nice if the creepers felt guilty. I was thinking about building a new house, but this feels kind of forced. <laughs> okay. Um, got some sticks so we can make a new pickaxe. Where am I going? Crafting bench. And then we need lapis, I think. If I remember correctly. Uh, oh, wait. Um, why did I make a pickaxe? I wanted to make a sword. And uh, do I have diamonds? Yes. And swords, thank you. I mean, we use a pickaxe a lot as well, so... Already not that big of a deal. Unbreaking. 
Not sure if I... Unbreaking. Sure? I'm not sure. Does it just give it more durability? I mean, that's nice. I got looting. Ah, that sounds cooler. Oh, Bane of Arthropods. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do more damage against spiders now? Sure, why not? I'm not fighting that much spiders. <laughs> Um let's put away this stuff and this stuff No there all the stones and the dirt and the coal oh flint why do I have flint? Uh, probably picked it up somewhere and the glass and let's put these two away for now let's just get rid of all these crappy bows I mean find a pointless and the stone stuff because I'm never gonna use that Iron hoe, sure. Um, I'm gonna have to organize this sometime later. Because this is a mess. I'll do that sometime off stream as well, because I don't think it's very interesting to watch me move stuff around in chests. Okay, let's drop all the useless stuff. Goodbye. Despawn, please. Cool. Um. Yeah, I guess I should repair my roof, right? Don't really feel like repairing my roof, but this feels kind of pointless. Um. Do I still I have oak planks? I have some jungle stairs. I make some more if necessary. Okay, let's fix the wall first. Oh, my painting is gone as well because that was on the wall over here. How high up was this wall? I don't think there were any windows here. The destruction is also kind of random, I feel. Okay. So that's all fixed. Now we just need to put in a bunch of jungle stairs. Uh, let's make some more actually because I never have enough. No, 27. Um, blanks. Where's the jungle planks? And then stairs. Uh, is this jungle wood? Yes. How many wood we need? Mm, let's get 40 for now. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Lad and Tell. How was your evening? Um, let's grab the scaffolding. Oh, we can finally use the scaffolding.
We. Okay. Um, this is gonna be a pain. Oh. Oh crap. Oh no 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 no. Why is the roof gone? Um good question. I was uh, working on the skeleton farm and I walked back home to get some ouch supplies and then the roof was gone. So your guess is as good as mine. It looks like, I don't know, six creepers exploded simultaneously on top of my house. Oh, I don't want you to do that. I just want you... Uh, yeah, yeah, that that sucks. That's absolutely accurate. <laughs> okay, what happens if I aim at you? Ah, uh, you start doing weird shit, okay. So I have to do it in layers. That's kind of annoying. Um, okay. Can I... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna need way more than I crafted. Wait, what? No, why? Upside down, no. Side down, thank you. Okay, so um, how many do I? Oh, wait, I need way more. Uh, there's all the stairs. No, that's not enough. Okay. Um, Oh, I just can't float, okay. Uh, wrong way around. That was my bad. Oh, this is gonna take ages. I I think I'll do this off stream because <laughs> I'm gonna need to chop more jungle trees in order to get enough wood to even get close to finishing this roof. And then I'm going to have to build the roof, obviously. So, yeah, let's not bother with that now, because this is going to take forever. 
I remember when I built this for the first time <laughs> and that was a lot of work. So can I just, no, okay. Yeah, let's, let's not bother. This is gonna take too long. Also, I just don't feel like doing it now, so. Uh, wait, let's tend to the farm. Let's replant all this and get some of our animals slaughtered and bred and all that good stuff. Uh, wheat seeds. Beetroot seeds. Wait, what? No, not beetroots. Beetroot seeds. Yes, thank you. And then we can get this stuff. What's it called? The uh, sugar cane. This is a really efficient farm. I like this. Especially because you don't have to replant it, it's so convenient. Uh, oh, you're coming for my seeds. <laughs> oh my god. It's just an army of chickens. Oh wait, did I have the fire sword? Or did that break already? I'm not sure. Fire sword, yes. Wait, what's this one? Sharpness, no. Mm -hmm. Saves me the trouble of cooking the meat. Come, chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> Burr. Can I lure them again? <laughs> okay, they're really stupid. Good to know. Oh wait, I am hitting them one by one. Ah, that's better. So mean. <laughs> well, the rest of them are in luck because the sword is about to break. Yeah, okay. But I did refill my chicken supply a bit, so that's good. Uh, food. Oh, I got some raw chicken as well. Hmm. Do I have room for raw chicken? No. Okay. Do I have room for all my seeds? Mm, nope. Hmm. Okay, apparently I already went to... An oh my god, that's a lot of eggs. Um, right. So, mm, let's cook this chicken so we can put it in the chest. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's about time we add more chests to the base, like a lot more. Or just build a new base and forget about the roof. <laughs> Uh, 
We can try some new things with the building. But I also quite like this place. It's it's hard to just leave it behind. That's a little pond. I could just start a second base and leave this one here as like a farm which we can visit sometimes. I don't know. At least we can enjoy the weather now. <laughs> as long as it doesn't rain, we're... I mean, our bed is is covered, so we won't have to sleep in the rain. So that's good, I guess. And was there room here? Yes, okay, cool. So that's sleep, not quite under the stars. Okay. And how's my equipment doing? Meh. Not too good. Um. I want to take the boat and do I take extra equipment? I'll I'll take some blocks just in case, just some dirt. And maybe we'll take our new fancy sword and pickaxe. Hmm. I guess I could take a fancy bow as well. Oh, and some arrows, of course. Do I need anything else? I don't think so. I want to go back to the villages we found and have a look around. See if we can... Or what we can do with... The villages. See if they're still around. Because I think last time we went there we didn't see any villages, so I just want to, to check up on them. Oh, let's test our new fancy anti spider sword. Three hits, okay. I'm not sure how many it took before, to be honest. Uh, how do I switch camera? Point. Uh, controls, key binds. F5. Hey. Feels a bit nicer when rowing around. <laughs> now I hope I remember where the villages are. I think I do. Wow, asynchronous rowing, that's... I don't think I could pull that off. <laughs> that feels like a lot of unnecessary coordination of your arms. <laughs> I think it would be quite tough to do as well because you can't use your back muscles as well. It's just your arms rowing. I mean, this is a guy who punches trees just for the heck of it. So I guess 
muscles aren't an issue. I think we should be hitting the ocean somewhere around here. Yeah, it looks like it. And then I'll have to follow the right side more or less. Mm, not in here. I think we'll have to go around this cliff and then there should be like a river type thingy, like an inlet. We see and see pink cherry blossom trees. We're heading in the right direction. Yeah, rain. Good thing we're not at home. There are so many drowned guys over here. Very place. Uh, no, not this way. This is where the horses are. I should have brought a compass because I still think there should be a much easier way to get from our base area to where the villages are, but I keep forgetting to bring a compass or something like that to actually check. According to my sense of direction, <laughs> there should be an easier way. I think it's in here. Now we should be st starting to see some fancy sakura trees. But it's also a bit foggy now because of the rain. Are there... Yeah, okay, cool. So we're heading in the right direction. Hello, squid. I feel like the horses are just around there somewhere. So if I feel I feel like if you head that way, that direction, then you should come close to the base. But yeah, that that's hard to check without a compass. And even then, uh, it might still be further away than I think, of course. Portal we destroyed. And we should be seeing the village somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. Hello, Mr. Golem. How do I get out? Ah. Wait, is that... Oh, they have a horse. Did I also have a horse? I can't... Re Wait, this feels weird. I think I saw a villager over here. Yes. Hello, Mr. Villager. Good conversation, thank you. Okay. 
Um, right. I don't know what that does. Oh, are they all heading inside now? Oh. Was that like an alarm bell? Interesting. Wait, are you coming out already? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not scared at all. Oh, there's a couple more over there. There's actually quite a lot of them. Okay. Where are you hitting? I'm not hitting the villagers. I'm pressing right right mouse button is interact. I'm not sure why he's swinging the sword when I do it. I mean, left mouse button is, is hitting. I'm not doing that. Have a little bit of faith in me. A tiny bit. I think I'm gonna build... A little... Dirt bridge. Can I fit under there? I hope so. They were surprisingly calm, yes. Sound the alarm. Okay, we'll head in our house for a few seconds and then we'll come out again. Yeah, hey, nice. Now I can just pass the village without issues. Except for this tiny little current. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so... Is there anything actually useful we can do in these villages? Why do we have two doors right next to each other? Seems a bit redundant. Probably that or that guy up on the hill. He has all the good stuff. Where's our boat? Wait, what? Oh, it's over there. Okay, <laughs> I got scared there for a second. Uh, okay, let's see if we can make it up the hill because uh, I'm sure the guy up there has all the goodies. Um. I hope he doesn't have to come down the hill every day for groceries because... Um, staircase to nowhere, okay. He has a fancy bed. Oh, creeper. Hmm. I might stay in here. Can I sleep here? Oh, I can. That's convenient. I hope I didn't take his respawn point now. Burn, creeper, burn. Or despawn or run away, I don't care. Don't bother me. Bye. I think there was another house. Ah, it's over here. I like how they <laughs> how they've made like a path, but it's so janky. <laughs> I mean there's a giant hole inside your path, guys. Was that a golem that's just sinking? Into the depths? I'm not sure. Let, let's help them a bit. Let's 
Let's make the village a bit safer. There you go. Hello. Oh, they're growing wheat. Okay. Uh, another tiny house. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't really um, see the use of the village. Or the villagers, for that matter. I mean, they're nice. I think. They seem friendly. Let's have a look at the other village. Maybe they'll have more useful stuff. I'm, hmm, I'm not sure where it was. I know it was further up the river, but... Let's just hope there's not much... Um, branches of the river. So then I don't have to choose a direction and we're guaranteed to find the village. Ooh, turtle. Hello. Oh, lots of turtles. Wow. Like right in the middle of the forest, Turtle Beach. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. Wasn't there a village in this direction? I mean, it has been eight, nine weeks since I've been here for the last time, so maybe it was somewhere else. I think... I think I tried getting to the base from that village and just followed this river and then hit another village. Oh, okay. Goodbye tree. But I don't remember I had to row this long, this far. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe the village is gone. <laughs> Maybe it burned down. Maybe it also had a creeper raid like the roof of my house. I like this birch forest. Uh, it looks like there's a split. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wait, there's the village. Or at least there's a house. No, there's a village. Way up on the mountain, okay. Oh wait, no, there's a couple of guys down here.
How on earth am I going to get up there? Hello. All right. Good talk. Thank you. Yeah. Another tiny house without stuff. Okay, let's see where the road takes us. Ooh, what's up here? No. I thought there were like market stalls or something, but... I mean, maybe they are, and, and this guy is just selling a lot of hay. So how are we going to get up there? Hmm. I mean, I could build a dirt pillar, but that's kind of lame and it won't get me down again, so... Let's see how far we can get using the natural terrain. We can add some stairs here and there if necessary. Like over here. Oh, I hear some. Can I make this jump? Yes. Cool. Ooh, that's a different one. Ooh. Hello. Oh, he can trade. Emeralds for an iron sword with unbreaking and sharpness. And coal for... Ah, this is how we get emeralds. And he's a novice. Okay. I hear a cat. Oh, this is, this is the blacksmith. I mean, he is the blacksmith, but this is the blacksmith, like the shop. Like the place. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Can, can I steal from this guy? I mean, he doesn't have a lot. Worth it? I mean, the leggings and the chest plates would be... Ah, oh, the chest plate, not so much, but the leggings... Oh, hello. I'm not doing anything. Don't worry. Let's, let's not risk it. Let's look around some more. I don't want to anger the entire village before I've even seen the village. Let's not have zombies spawn on you. Okay, so where are the other guys? Oh, hello. Oh, they're up higher? Hmm. Wait, is that just... It's like a sort, sort of street light. Interesting. Oh, hello. Oh, you're quite agile. So who lives here? No one. Okay. There's a roof? Oh, that's the roof of the blacksmith. Okay. Interesting. Any other? Oh, this village is larger than I thought. Hello. Oh, what are you doing? Why is it green? Uh, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm not sure what they were doing in there, but I don't think uh, I was supposed to see it. Oh, hello. Oh, another blacksmith. Oh, obsidian. The saddle. Oh, interesting, interesting. I'm scared of this guy. Let's see, anything else interesting? Oh, this is hard. I thought I was smart by using these stuffs to, to make window shutters, but this is like a sort of 
window plant box. Interesting. Oh, hello. Why are you sleeping with the door open? Why are they all asleep? Wait, I hear the zombie. No. 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 You are not welcome here. I need an empty bed so I can... Emeralds, potatoes, bread. Okay, okay. I'm scared to to take stuff out of the chest. I'm not sure how advanced this game is, and if they if they will notice and be mad at me. Is this a smoker? Yeah. Like a little restaurant. Cool. You guys should really stop leaving the doors open with the zombies around. Do you have an empty bed? No. Ooh. Okay, so all beds are taken. Mm. Ouch. This is pretty cool as well. Like a lantern post. You are in bed. Ooh, cat. Hello. Wait, do you want chicken? Where are you? Chicken? Chicken? I don't think he wants chicken. I don't have anything else. Spider eye? <laughs> uh, I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. You want spider eye? Uh, I don't think so. Fish. Uh, yeah, that that that's pretty clever, but I don't have fish, so... What do I hear? Or oh, the table? What? Oh, they made the table with a pressure plate. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. That took me a while to figure out. Um, there. Oh, you're still at it. Okay, never mind. Don't mind me. I'm not here. Ah, also taken. Yeah, it's a shame I don't have my compass with me. Oh, is it bunnies? <gasps> bunnies! Oh! That's cute. You have to go? Okay. Good night. Sleep well. Oh, look at it. <laughs> and now we're going to kill it. I want to see what it drops. I want a rabbit's foot. <laughs> have fun with the bunnies. Thank you. I will. Come here. It's quick.
Where are you? Oh. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Hopefully a lot sooner. Now that I'm better. Oh, I lost the bunny. Oh. Oh, that's bees. Okay. Quite a lot of bees. Enjoying the flowers. Oh, that's a lot of flowers. Oh my god. Okay. Wait, is the golem fighting? It is. Ah, cool. So the golem keeps the village safe. That's nice. And it also makes me more afraid to steal from them. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue where the base would be. We've gone round too many bends and twists and turns. Oh, there's a bunny. I see you. I kill you. Aha. We unlocked a new recipe. What did we get? Raw rabbit. And a rabbit's foot. Ah, nice. <laughs> I was joking. I wasn't... Expecting that to actually be a drop in the game. But it doesn't give me plus 10 luck, so that's a shame. Hello, Mr. Golem. Good job. Keeping the village safe. Oh, that's a lot of creepers. Nope. 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 Okay, let's see where we can get down from the cliffs back to our boat because we can't trade with the blacksmiths because I don't have any items with me so I can see how it would be useful to have oh crap uh, to have a village closer to your base if you're gonna be trading with these guys so we might it might be worthwhile to consider moving our base closer to this village or like building a new base closer to this village so that we can trade with the blacksmith and maybe over time he'll become I don't know. More trained. <laughs> like an expert. Rather than a novice. Okay, I've got a pretty long way to go. Um I think we have to go this way. Faster squids. No, let me through. Yeah, I'm gonna try to... Try to... Like, remember in what direction this village is. As the crow flies compared to the base. Just so that I kind of have a feel for where we would have to go. Because it's on top of that hill.
Or this is the hill with the village. Okay, so it's behind us. This is gonna be difficult, but we'll we'll see what we can do. And now it's to our left, more or less. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to remember what direction it is, but I'm not sure if it's possible in this way. Or not in a meaningful way, anyway. Because it's also hard to judge the distance you've traveled, so I can try to remember, like, I've rode two minutes <laughs> with the mountain to my back and then one minute with the mountain to my left or something like that, but yeah. I don't think A, I will be able to remember and B, it will be useful. I mean, we can follow the river, so it's not like I'll lose the village per se, but it is quite a long way around. So, it's a shame you can't portal just to another place rather than to the nether. That would be convenient. Just put a portal in the village and jump in there. I do want to put a portal in another spot in the nether because I want to explore the, what was it called? The fortress thingy? But I don't want to do it with the portal where it's now because it's pretty risky if we die. Like last time we went there, I died what three times or something. Wait, what's over here? Just a little detour. Tiny cave, okay. Um, so thinking maybe a portal in the fortress, just close it up and make it our own and put a bed in there so that if I'm exploring in that area, I can just sleep and set my spawn over there. Then if I die, I don't have to rush from my base to the portal like a madman and then jump through the precarious staircase thingies I built in the nether to get to my body. But then I don't know where the portal will end up like here in the in the overworld so that will we'll have to experiment and see if that is actually useful because if it ends up being miles away from the base then i'm not sure if that is 
actually convenient or not. Oh, dolphins. Hello. I can't swim with you guys. I can't hold my breath for long enough. I'm sorry. No. It's cute noises. Oh, wait, I'm going in the wrong direction. Oh, he's following me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't play with you. I'm sorry. Go back to your friends. Yeah, I distracted myself somewhat from keeping track of where the village is located, but I still feel it's like in that direction-ish, so there should be an easier way to get there. Or, well, maybe not easier because rowing there is quite simple, but shorter. We could bring a compass next time and then row to the village and then follow the compass back to the base and see if it's actually shorter and what we encounter along the way. Maybe we can find some cool new stuff. I mean, if there's a lot of like cliff faces like here, then rowing is still gonna be the better way to get from the village to the base. And I guess if we build a new base near the village, then it doesn't matter anyway. We might have to build some defenses around the village against the zombies. I don't want everyone in the village to get murdered. I guess the golem was doing a pretty decent job of killing the mobs. E. Almost home. The home with half a roof. Oh. So sad. So weird. Okay, so it's almost an entire day of rowing to get from the village to the base. That's a bit much, but we made it. Uh, did I have, oh yeah, I had the bunny. And let's put the planks in here. Oh wait, the spider's eye can go in here. And this can go nowhere because our chests are full. Eh, okay. Let's sleep. And I think that's where I'll end it for now. And then I'll do some off work, off, off work, off stream work on the roof and our chest situation. 
And I'll spend some AFK time near the skeleton farm to get our level up a bit higher so we can do some more enchantments, hopefully. I want to see if I can get armor enchanted. See if we can get something cool going there. Um, yeah, and then hopefully I'll be back soon. I hope this Wednesday, if I'm feeling well enough. And otherwise, uh, definitely next Saturday. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, have a nice evening. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.